What is up, everybody? We are back, and I'm ready to go game hunting. Let's roll. All right, guys. Uh, just came to Goodwill. Got a stack of games. Uh, it looks somewhere close to maybe 20, 20 games, some PC games as well. But I'll go through these real quick and let you guys see what we actually found. Okay, I got a War of the Monsters. Dragon Ball Z, uh, I don't know what that is. I got a Super Paper Mario on the Wii, Uncharted on the PS3, uh, another Wii game, not sure what's in that, Call of Duty, Split Second, another Dragon Ball Z, another Dragon Ball Z, Hulk on the PS2, God of War, uh, Max Payne 2, Grand Theft Auto, Shinobi, hello, look at that, uh, Resident Evil, look at that, Matrix, you don't see those all the time. I got a Tekken 4. Not really interested in that. Indiana Jones. Uh, sorry guys if the camera's a little off or glare on the games. Uh, Tribes Aerial Assault. And a Contra, Sh Contra Shattered Soldier on the PS2. Um, NCAA. NFL. Not really interested in those. Those are probably going to go back on the shelves. But uh, Got Diablo on the PC, StarCraft. Oh, hold on, too many games, they've fallen over. Ugh. Got StarCraft, uh, the Orange Box Half-Life, and then a World of Warcraft, um, the original version, World of Warcraft, the original version, and I've got the Catechism. All right, guys, we're back at another Goodwill. It's kind of late, uh, not that many people are in Goodwill right now, so I kind of got most of this section to myself, well, me and my family mostly. Um, found some games. I found an original PlayStation Tiny Toons game. I used to watch this a lot when I was a kid, so finding one of the games is pretty cool. Um, and I also found a Microsoft Combat Simulator game. Not really big on flight shams. I uh, also found a PlayStation, another PS1 game. This is Smurf, Smurf Racer. Never played this one either, but um, really haven't found many PlayStation 1 games in goodwill so it's a pretty good pickup for today uh also found a just dance 3 for the nintendo wii uh i don't play those games but to actually find one seems to be okay condition i didn't even check uh, it's missing the book if it did come with one it's missing it so yeah we'll move on to the next one and see what we can find another quick side note guys if you're gonna be inside of a goodwill or something you're searching for games always check the cd section you're looking they just look like regular cds pay attention to the cd section don't sleep on it all right guys uh just a quick update uh reached out to a couple of people uh, my wife actually found this post earlier today found uh, a guy oh red light hold on found a guy that was getting rid of uh some ps4 games and a nintendo switch game uh, showed up to buy them. Uh, he wanted 40 bucks for them all. Give me the PlayStation games, baby. Wanted 40 bucks for them all. Um, for the Nintendo Switch and the PS4 game. So I'll try to show you guys while I'm at the red light. I got a Street Fighter uh, 30th, 30th um, anniversary collection. Okay, we're going to have to pick up in a second. Back to what I was saying. Uh, picked up a 30th anniversary Street Fighter for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, what is this? A Hill Divers on the PS4. Never even played this game before. Super Earth Ultimate Edition. Uh, again, you guys will see the prices on these up in the corner somewhere. Picked up another PlayStation 4 game, Val Valkyria 4 Chronicles. Never played this either. Not really my type of games to actually play, but I'm not looking for games to play. I'll play them if they look interesting, but these go straight on the market and I try to sell them as quick as possible. Got a Shadow Tactics for the PS4. Case is a little beat up and the artwork is a little torn, but all the games are in good condition. None of them are scratched up or anything. Uh, got a Mirror's Edge on the PS4. Don't really play that much either. Uh, I played that when it first came out a long time ago. Uh, Warriors Aruchi on the PS4 as well. Uh, got an Uncharted Lost Legacy PS4. Pick up a Monster Hunter, what is this? Mon Monster Hunter World on the PS4 as well. Uh, so those were all the games that I picked up for 40 bucks. Um, when I got there, 
my wife had found out that the guy also had a PlayStation, uh, a PlayStation One game for sale that he had in his uh, listing as well. So um, I picked up a Fear Effect on the PS One. Uh, the case is a little beat up, but that's not there's nothing to really look at you know because these games are old as heck but um yeah pretty nice copy it's i think it's a four disc game yeah it's four disc uh the case is a little beat up but the games are in immaculate condition um the guy came out with more than just that one playstation game he was supposed to only have that one that he was bringing me but he came out with a stack of them so i picked up a spyro greatest hits on the ps1 uh what is this lemmings as well on the ps1 uh, I picked up a Spider-Man on the PS1. I picked up a Spider-Man 2 on the PS1. Crash Bandicoot 2 on the PS1. Uh, what else we got here? Got another Crash Bandicoot. This is the Warped Edition on the PS1 and Monopoly. We like the board game Monopoly, but I don't buy games. Um, but he wanted a few bucks for it. Or I think he actually threw that in because I bought everything that he had. So, yeah, uh, not that bad of a pickup to say... Uh, did I just spin? Not that bad of a pickup to say that the guy was only supposed to be selling me some PS4 games. So, um, yeah, not bad for a haul. I had a guy in the last video wrote down in the comments he wanted to see the footage. Sorry, the footage from the last video that I had where I was pricing all the games out didn't uh, come out well. It was actually, I had a little bit of technical difficulty, so the video never really showed any of the footage of me getting the game. So, here you are. Just picked up the games from the guy. Um, of course, if I'm picking up from a private seller, I never videotape these guys without their consent. And this guy was, was in his PJ, so I'm not going to put this guy out on YouTube, so might mess up my sales. So, yeah. All right, everybody, just uh, getting back to uh, game hunting all of last week, uh, kind of laid off of game hunting for about a month. That was the last time I posted. I uh, had a lot of things going on personally, but uh, things are kind of mellowing out, so I'm getting back to it. So uh, all the games that I went through and found or I game hunted and found last week, let's take a recap and go back through them. So um, we got a Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Got that for the Nintendo Switch. Um not really sure what this was actually going for, but I'll start placing prices up top right as usual. Got a uh, combat simulator for the PC. Um, this was in the CD area. So like I said, always check the areas where your CDs are because you might find some good PC games or maybe even some PS1 games. I found a World of Warcraft, the uh, Reign of Chaos, uh, another CD uh, PC title. Uh, good condition. We've got a uh, Guild Wars on the PC. We've got a World of Warcraft. We've got Diablo on the PC that we picked up as well. We've got uh, Starcraft, Wings of Liberty. We've got the Orange Box, good PC game. Uh, Half Life episode, have Half Life Two episodes too, uh, and we have a expansion set for the World of Warcraft as well. Uh, we also had Black Case that had Need for Speed Underground in it for the PlayStation 2. Uh, we have a Nintendo Wii game, the Museum Remix, and we picked up a copy of Super Paper Mario as well on the Nintendo Wii. Um, got a Half-Life Counter-Strike edition for the PC as well. Uh, moving on, we've got some PS4 games, uh, Shadow Tactics. Oops. Helldivers, uh, Valkyrie of Four, Chronicles, Valkyrie of Chronicles 4, whatever you want to say it. Warriors of Ruchi 4. Uh, got Mirror's Age. I played this first one. I played this one, the, uh, I guess the first version of the first, first one that came out. Uh, never really played this one, but yeah. Thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. I played all the Uncharted. I've never played this one. I, I'm not sure if this was like a DLC or a standalone game or not, but never really played this one, but I will be playing this one. Uh, got a Monster Hunt, Hunter World, also another PS4 title. All these, all these games are clean. May not have all the manuals to them all. Um, the only issue was this one had a little bit of a torn uh, art artwork, but other than that, the game is in great condition. Uh, and like I said, some of the manuals were missing. Uh, picked up some Nintendo Wii games. 
Um, these were at one of my local Goodwills. Um, not really a fan of Just Dance, but they were there and it was basically all they had. And I didn't want to leave empty handed. So they had two copies of them, some Just Dancers. Uh, found this Mario and Super Smash Brothers at the same place I found all of the uh, at the Goodwill that I found all the Nintendo GameCube games on the other video. I don't know if you guys actually seen that, but I'll put a, a link to it up here. You guys go and check that out. But uh, found these games there. The Blue Tote, as usual. Manager was coming out the back with the Blue Tote and found this game. Found both of them. Um, got to the counter. And you can kind of feel a game and see if it's a manual and game in it. But got to the counter. I was actually excited. And then I opened it up and saw... Wii Sports. I mean, this is still going for something, but I would very much rather have the Mario Brothers Wii game instead of Wii Sports. But I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it'll still sell, but not really what I was looking for or was hoping for when I got to the counter. Um, I've got a Donkey Kong Country Returns on the Nintendo 3DS. Um, I played the Donkey Kongs on the, what was it? Super Nintendo, actually. I've never really played it on the 3DS, so my kids are like playing this. Not really my type of style. Next games are some PS1 games. I found both of these at um, my local Goodwill. Uh, Smurf Racer and Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh, Plucky's Big Adventure. I've never played any of these games. Of course, I watched all of the cartoons growing up as a kid, but never really played them. But they're PlayStation 1 games and... You, you just don't let those go by, especially, I think these were, uh, I think they were $4.99 a game. I mean, come on, you're not going to find $4.99 uh, PlayStation 1 games anywhere, especially in good condition. The next games are some PlayStation 1 games that I bought from um, a guy on Nextdoor. Uh, if you don't know what Nextdoor is, it's an app for communities. You basically can buy and sell things or just give news so that your neighbors will know what's going on in the area. But anyways, despite all that, we're talking about video games. Uh, nice, clean copy of Spider-Man. Um, it's got the manual. Disc is very clean. Yep. Never really was big into the Spider-Man games, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I got Spider-Man 2. Now, this one is... Um, not sure what the actual price is, but I know it's going for more than the uh, Spider-Man 1. So, and it's the greatest hits. So, pretty clean, good looking game. Uh, I got Lemmings on the PlayStation 1. Never really played this. I've seen it before, but really not my style of gaming. Got a Spyro on the PS1 as well. Greatest hits. Uh, got a Monopoly. Don't really play Monopoly on consoles, but board game. Yeah, PS1 picked it up. Uh, got a Crash Bandicoot Warped. Another clean title. It's got the booklet as well. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 2. The case is a little, and that end is broken off, but other than that, we've got the manual, we've got the game. It's got a little smudge there, it just needs to be cleaned off. But other than that, the game's in great condition. Nothing's wrong with the case. I'll switch out the front of this because it's got a crack there as well. But yeah, um, let me see what else do we have. Uh, a couple of good ones left. Left uh, got a PS1 Fear Effect. Uh, this is a four disc game. So uh, this was going for oh man, I can't remember the price actually, but it was going for more than all the others that I have. But yeah. Uh, I, I love these big cases that the games, the PlayStation 1 games came in. Um, some of the other ones that I really liked were the long uh, cases that they used to come in as well when they first came out. But yeah, this game, I think, if I'm not mistaken, is going for like 40, 50 bucks or something like that. I can't remember, but like, like I said, prices will be there up in that corner. Check it out. You're probably already seeing it. Moving on to the PS2 games that I picked up. The majority of these were picked up uh, at this last Goodwill uh, today. Um, zoom out a little bit. Uh, we got a Dragon Ball Z, a copy of Dragon Ball Z on the PS2. We got War of the Monsters. I didn't. I don't think this is going for much. Um, it's probably like a six or seven dollar game, but I've never seen it before, so I picked it up. Uh, we've got Matrix: Path of Neo. We've got Max Payne 2. Another good game. Uh, found a Shinobi, really good clean copy. Uh, case just needs to be wiped down, 
but uh, everything in there, it, it's complete. Let's see if I can open it. The booklet is nice and clean. Uh, look at that, man. That's a good copy. And the disc is actually in good condition as well. So look at that. Not a scratch on it. Beautiful. Uh, don't want to scratch the game. Love it when you find good games like that. Um, Resident Evil 4 on the PS2. Uh, Tribes, Aerial Assault. Never played this game either. Um, kind of reminded me of Halo. It actually says goodbye, Halo. Yeah, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? Because Halo's still whooping your ass tail. But anyways, another version of uh, Dragon Ball Z on the PS2. And then we got a Contra, uh, Shattered Soldier. Never played this one, but I did play the original Contra. Uh, back in the day and I loved it so might actually give this a try and play this uh, and we got a Tekken 4 on the PS2 another good game uh, played that a crap ton when I was a kid uh, oh and another one that I picked up was the it's in a Ziploc bag because it's sealed I don't want to mess up the plastic on it because I want to get this one graded but Teen Titans on the PS2 a sealed copy of it uh, PS3 Got some more Dragon Ball Z uh, copies of, never even played this one actually, Burst Limit, never even heard of this one, but yeah, Dragon Ball Z on the PS3, uh, Grand Theft Auto, thought it was an actual Grand Theft Auto, uh, I saw it when I was in the store and I still took it anyways, um, not really looking for a Grand Theft Auto, but like I said, I check all games to make sure that the game and the manual is in there. And I actually found the Street Fighter um, for the PS3 in there. So that'll be the case for Grand Theft Auto. will just be put on the shelf, not unless somebody wants to buy it. But uh, the Street Fighter is a good, a good pickup. Uh, Uncharted, this is the very first one. Another clean copy of the manual and everything's in there. Split Second, another great game. I love racing games. Uh, this is more arcadey. I'm more like sim racing. But uh, this was another great game if you wanted some quick demolition derby type racing at the same time and a god of war on the ps3 all right guys so that's my haul for just monday and tuesday got a bunch of games uh didn't expect to find this many to be honest with you within just two days uh i literally in the in the goodwill i just came from about an hour ago had about 20 25 games or something like that so a massive haul for today uh, looking forward to the rest of the week. Looking forward to putting some content together for you guys so you can actually see the games and the hauls that I bring in. Um, I'm shopping everywhere from Goodwills to uh, garage sales, you name it. Any place that I can find a game is where I'm looking. But my luck lately has been with uh, Goodwill. I I'm not sure why, but the Goodwills that I go to, they never have anything. And then I just randomly go and then they've got a crap ton of games. So it's all about luck, guys. I've had people comment and ask me, how do you find these hauls? It's about getting out and looking for them. And it's really not a strategic time and actually going to a Goodwill. It's just pure luck, to be honest with you, the majority of the time. But I hope you guys are enjoying all the hauls that I'm bringing in, uh, all the games. I'm hoping it's bringing back some memories for you the same way it has for me. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching the video to the end. Uh, if you love game hunting as much as I do, please sub to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, I want you guys to see all of the old school games, even some of the newest stuff that I'm finding in these game halls. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I love thrifting. So hope you guys can tag along with me for the long haul. So haul, get it, haul, game haul. Never mind. Thanks again. Hopefully see you guys in the next one.